You asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart, Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed, he challenged it, so must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. <sighs> Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. I told Nihal this would be impossible to sell when she stole it, but she could not resist. Wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so. Kick up some sand, Basim. The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep Durwish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? These 
shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. About this contract, I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But, I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. Perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. <laughs> Better leave before they notice. Liz! Liz! Come here! Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. Hmm. There. The boisterous one. He must have something of value. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that stall. She's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anvar. Is that jealousy, I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes.
They are all looking spry. I wonder Peace, what tales we will hear today. Tall one. I mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better, something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques are plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there, uh, uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Huh. Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Tall ones, most certainly. Steal anything good today. Ahla, Basim, come here, come here. Fahmi. Basim, the Khalifa has arrived with his court. Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Mutawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you, and maybe more someday. Oh, Basim. I am serious. She will keep you out of trouble. You could use that. See you, Fahmi. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I have been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> oh! Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zaida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I saw them with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and spears? Of course they did. They are soldiers. I'd like to steal a sword or a helmet. You are on your own, Basim. Did they say anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, anyone, anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. 
and we must be very careful not to let it in. Mutia, where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me, called me a harebrained miscreant, all because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think you will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia, you do not know him as well as I. So I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough, but he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. This is no contract. I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract, so I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. Remember to pick up your feet, will you? What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates, one chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain, last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. If I am seen, I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards. Locked. A minor delay. Hey, what?
There. That may be what I'm looking for. I wonder what secrets this ledger holds. Maybe I can get the old Grouser to wish to squeeze a hint out of our contact. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Hey, the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take half this beef with that insult. <sighs> Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? 
Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <sighs> Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <laughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Yes, a black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya Jasim. <laughs> what are you doing? They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to... You do not have to get involved, Nihal. I know your feelings on this. It is utterly foolish. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with and nag you until you decide to abandon the idea of stealing a chest from the Khalifa's Winter Palace. When you say it like that, it only excites me further. Are we going or not? Lead the way. This is a mad plan, Basim. Even if you were to succeed and they welcome you into their ranks, us? Of course not. Nihal. Their interests are our interests. You, me, and every other street dweller who has been cast aside. Living off scraps and dirty water. I can be an instrument that sees us out of that life. That sees that Jasip can use his talents to be a real craftsman. That sees that good men are not cast aside as my father was. And no children left wondering what tomorrow will bring. Welcome, back here. I hear what you are saying, Basim. But you paint a portrait of a world that cannot exist. That is where we disagree. <laughs> there it is, the Winter Palace. Come, this way. Right behind you. Here. Let us wait for nightfall. <sighs> Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here. Under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so, too, was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! It is dark enough. Come. Oh. Nihal! Yes. 
listening yourself to my damn passive? Very sensitive. I know how you hate to be alone. I see some guards just that way. Lime sauce, pomegranates, and lemon. Oh, I can taste it now. I do not wish to be here longer than we must. Just around the corner. 